Nice to see you. Hey! Yeah! yeah. You got it. Thanks for being here. You got uh, a you, you got a big movie out. Yeah. Things are going very well for you. And you, uh, congratulations. You have a new baby. Is that right? New baby uh, girl, a uh, month old right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And it's amazing because I have a, a 21 month old girl as well. And when you ha I had her and. Uh, you think you're gonna love this child? This is the only child you're gonna love, and the fact that you're having another one, uh, you know, you don't think you'll be able to love it as much because you think, you know, but they say you adjust, and it's amazing how you love your kids equally, and uh, it's not true. I don't care for the second one as much. I, mean, uh, I want to feel it. I want to feel the love. I just don't, it's I don't just know what to there. do. It's just not there, yeah, It's yeah. just, I can't fake it anymore yeah. either. I don't know what to do. It's, <laughs> don't feel bad. No, we're gonna have another baby, so this one has someone to play with. Good, you know, good. Yeah, so I'm not, great I'm strategy. sensitive to it. Very good. You're taking care of it. Yeah, that's Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Now, you're finding it, is it easier with the second child? Is it, the first time you have a kid, you go through so much. The second time, is it any easier? It's very, yeah, it's very intense, the first child, because you're so worried about them. I remember being in the hospital with the first child, and the nurse would come in and say, we're going to take the baby to measure her and do the stuff. And I say, you know what, you're, you're not going in. I'm going to go with you, you know, wherever you go, because you, it's your kid. And the second one, you, you kind of slack off a little bit. I mean, <laughs> the nurses come in, you don't care. Literally, a janitor stopped by and was like, I'm just going <laughs> to take the kid. I'm like, sure, go ahead. Just, <laughs> just clean her up, bring her back when you're done. That'll be fine. Uh -huh. Not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah. Now, how is your wife dealing with now two kids? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's much harder, right? It is, it, it is uh, a little uh, crazy because uh, uh, she's starting to make uh, rules with the two kids that they're going to be crawling around the house and stuff. And she, uh, she made a rule of, uh, uh, this kind of annoyed me too, no, no shoes in the house. I've heard of uh, uh, people that do that, no shoes anywhere in the house. You take them off before you come in. Yeah, and, uh, and it's so annoying because she, she makes me enforce the rule to, to people. She'd be like, oh, look at the movers. They're, can you ask them to take their shoes off? And, these guys are big guys and they're moving stuff and you know what you make a rule you should enforce the damn thing i don't want to do it yeah. sure it so i gotta yeah exactly her job, right. yeah so now i gotta go up to the guy and go, hey, look i know you're moving a 700 pound refrigerator upstairs but i'm gonna need you to take the rock ports off you know? <laughs> just to make it a little difficult i'm gonna need you to do it in socks if you would <laughs> i'm gonna add one more level to that i'm gonna throw raisins at you while you're doing it <laughs> Just to piss you off. <laughs> just to see if yeah, it works. Just to, yeah. Ca you know, just so, so stuff. what do you wear in the sh in the house? You wear socks then? What do you? Uh, well, see, this is the thing. You have a choice in my house. Mm -hmm. That's good water. Uh, you have a choice. You can wear uh, socks, mm -hmm. or you can. She has like uh, I don't know if you've seen like in hospitals where they slip those like booties. Over, you see the, the booties yeah, over your yeah, shoes? Yeah, yeah, you see, they're, they're like the, the, yeah, the yeah, surgeons yeah. wear yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're over the shoes, and I wear them, and I hate that because uh, they curl up in the front, and I always forget that I have them on when I leave the house, and then I'm always afraid I'm going to get in a fight with some guy, and it looks like the fat Lucky Charms guy is trying to kick someone's ass, so <laughs> it's not too intimidating. Curly hey, booties in the front, here. yeah. Yeah. Now, with the kids, are you are you uh, are you watching their programming with them? Because that's what I with my kids, I gotta yeah. watch what they want to watch. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you watch the Sesame Street and all that? You, you have, have to. to. You it's have great to. because it's like a babysitter, you know. Right. I mean, and I love it. And, and the problem is, you have to watch it with the kids, so you're locked into it, and uh, they they repeat a lot, and that really uh, pisses me off because. <laughs> Just waiting for new episodes of Sesame Street to come. It's like The Sopranos. You're like, come on, turn it over, do something. And then you see one, you're excited, you think it's going to be a new one, and you're like, nah, near and far again. That's what it is. It's near and far. <laughs> I saw this a hundred times. Near and far was great the yes, first time. Yes, I loved but... it the first time, but it's like, I got I think, come on, keep me going. Here. I got it down now. I yeah, understand yeah, it. Yeah. So, do you, uh, you know, I, this is a weird thing, and I, I, we wanted to surprise you a little bit with this. Uh, which is today I'm coming to work, walking down the west side, and I ran into a woman, and she stopped me, and she said, you have Kevin James on your show tonight? And I said, yeah, I do. And she said, this is, this is crazy. I'm his fifth grade teacher. And Good. yeah, yeah, she said, I, I'm Good his fifth is. grade teacher, yeah. And so we thought it might be kind of cool if you could talk to her. <laughs> Mrs. Miss Cranberry? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's her, yeah, yeah. I ran into her on the street, and, and so we rigged it up, and, and you know, she can't be here in person, but she's on the phone, she and I think it'd be cool if they talked. Do you think it'd be kind of neat? Know she was... She's right here on the line. Oh my God. Hello? Hello? Hey! Yeah, yeah, hi, hi. 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 Yes, this is Conan O'Brien. Oh you you know, ran into me today, I'm, and I'm sitting right here with Kevin James. Would you like to speak to him? Hey, Ms. You, you said you would do this, and you did it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh. Here I am. Here's Kevin James. Here we go. Oh, hey, hey. Kevin! Hey, Miss Cranberry. Oh, my God. Oh, the king of hearts. 
No, it's the king of the king of queens. You're so delightful. I, I was telling Conan you were always a wonderful mathematician. Yes. You we call him the master magician. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, six times joke. six, Kevin. What? Six times six. Th Thirty-six. You got it, honey. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was good at math then. Yeah. We got a hundred rabbits. Okay. Six 100. of them get sick. <laughs> they die. How many we got left? Uh, it's 94 rabbits. Bingo! <laughs> you son of a gun! He, uh, Conan. Yes. He always would uh, have diarrhea. As a kid, <laughs> you know you did, Kevin. What? You got that diarrhea. Don't be telling me you gotta change me. Take me to the bathroom and change me. Remember, Kim? Yes, I remember changing you. Fifth yes. grade is late for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Oh, Chuck and Larry looks terrific. Thank you very much. It's oh, yeah, gonna... your math skills are good in that, aren't they? Yes, they're very. I, I do a little math in there. Yeah! And, yeah, uh... you're gonna have to count all the money you make. You rich that is. Take a little break. Uh, we're with Kevin James. We'll be right back. Stick around.